Psalm 91 He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Surely, He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. All right, Shalom. One. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Wakakotash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to us, younger brothers, and peace and blessing, say, taste of the hopeful they got there, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Pushing to get up out of here. So I want to the whole flick, the believers, the listeners, whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you, how about Shema Al Shai. And what I want to get into, you know, pretty much on how, you know, Yahweh Shai, you know, is that light, you know, in darkness. All right. Do Yahweh Shai, the blind do see, you know, and that was during his lifetime, something he did in the physical, all right, but it was pretty much the overtone of what we will be doing in the spirit in these times all right now when you go to matthew 11 and 1 and it came to pass when yahweh shah had made an end of commanding his 12 disciples he departed thence to teach and to preach in their cities now <clears throat> when john had heard in the prison the works of yahweh shah he sent two of his disciples and said unto him, Art thou he that should come, or do we look for another? Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Go and show John again those things which ye do hear and see. The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk, and the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, and the dead are raised, and the poor have the gospel preached unto them. Now, as John the Baptist is within, you know, prison, you know, he sends you know, messengers to Yahweh Shai, because you have to understand, you know, our forefathers was looking for Yahweh Shai to take down Rome. All right. And here it is, John, you know, was in the cell, you know, so he like, you know, <laughs> John, you know, has spent his life teaching and preaching. And, you know, he's in the flesh as a man. All right. And, you know, he felt some answer. All right. Did Yahweh Shai get, you know, offended? Did he get emotional? Did he you know, spaz out on John, all right, no, he answered with precepts, all right, and this is what, you know, all these, you know, what they call Old Testament believers, and, you know, those that are against Yahweh Shai, they don't understand Yahweh Shai fulfilled the Old Testament, he fulfilled a lot of things written in the Old Testament, all right, there's still things that have yet to happen that he's going to feel uh, uh fulfill all right mainly his second coming so blunt. now he was physically you know healing the ailments of our people and that was pretty much you know a um uh symbolic of what we will be doing spiritually now going back to verse five again it says the blind receive their sight and the lame walk and the lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear and the dead are raised up and the poor have the gospel preached unto them and blessed is he Whosoever shall not be offended in me, because Yahweh Shai, you know, is also known as what? That stone of stumbling, in which a lot of Israelites will stumble, all right, to their own destruction at the stone of Yahweh Shai. All right. Now, when you go to Isaiah 42 and 6, all right, it says, I, the Lord Yahweh, have called thee in righteousness, and will hold thine right hand, and will keep thee, and give thee for a covenant of the people for a light of the gentiles and that's yahweh shy you know because prior to yahweh shy that you know the the, the, the israelite foreigners you gotta think you had our people scattered you know amongst these heathens there was you know third fourth fifth sixth all right seventh generation hellenized by the time yahweh shy had came on the scene so they were far removed you know from those promises you know, they didn't have an understanding of what the promise was. You know, they didn't have an understanding of the standard of the scriptures. You know, the wisdom. 
All right. They was into all, you know, Greek mythology and all these different, you know, pagan customs. All right. But Yahweh Shai, all right, he was that light, you see, for them to have a way back just in this time because we all came up Hellenized, man. All these guys are talking about the Old Testament and, you know, uh, uh, ain't no Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai just a man and Yahweh Shai is made up. All these, you know, these different guys, well, they all came up. All right, Americanized. You see, Big Judah. All right, uh, 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 Rap the News and all these other, you know, Old Testament guys. They came up. All right, Americanized. You see, they 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 came up. All right, thinking thinking we all came up thinking we was niggas or African Americans. You know, the street life, the you know, Miss Independent, and you know, the Christmas spirit, and 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 you know. All, you know, Egypt, Tyler, whatever we was into, we was Hellenized. All right. And Yahweh Shah is the one that pretty much was our way back. All right. Outside of Yahweh Shah, we didn't have a way back, man. <laughs> you see? So when you read it, it says Isaiah 42 and 6, it said, I, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shah, have called thee in righteousness. And will hold thine hand and will keep thee and give thee for a covenant and Yahweh Shah was that covenant his blood all right was 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 the blood of what a new covenant all right and before we come into the new covenant we're in this period of grace that's through Yahweh Shah where we don't suffer all right the the full consequences of what the uh uh the law man you know it said for a light unto the Gentiles, and that was back then, and much more now. As we, as we you know, the scriptures talk about what they great falling away, man. You see, J. Eli, they was born and bred into being an Israelite, understanding the Torah and to not. No, man, we were through, man. All right, you had that that box fade. All right, with that deep part. You see them Charles Barkley, that big ass starter jacket through. You see? And it said, verse, this the point, verse 7. Because this is what Yahweh Shah was referring to when he was telling, um, when he was sending the message back to John. Verse 7. It says, to open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison. All right? To bring out the prisoners from the prison and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. And see, he physically... All right, heal the blind. But what are we doing today? We're spiritually healing the blind. All right. And our people are in prison houses by these different mindsets. All right. The minds of our people. Well, our minds were in prison. But through Yahweh Shai, we was unlocked. All right. From that prison of thinking, you know, no bad bitches. Like a street nigga, you know, the American dream, cooning, whatever, you know, uh, athletes and rappers and. You know, our perspective came from a narrative of our enemy, all right, which kept out, which kept us in the prison, because it's what through repentance and faith and calling on the names of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai that we have access to our power again, you know, and we we our mind was in prison and shut up from it, all right. Why well, you think Esau paid groups to not teach in the name anymore? He wants to keep. Jake's mind in prison because you can have fringes on, you cannot eat shrimp and pork. All right, but the but 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 Esau still can have your mind in the prison. You call on Most High Christ, blessed. All right, a higher, you know, or, or you a, a, a Israelite with the Old Testament only doctrine. You're still in the prison, but see, how was shot free the elect, and <laughs> you see. Let's get there real quick. When well, you go to uh, St. John. All right, St. John 8. And um, what you always get. All right. This is St. John 8 and 32. And it says, and ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Yeah, free from what? That mental prison, that spiritual prison. You see, our obedience, you know, our faith, praying in no name. All right. 
we're loose from that prison now we have access all right to our power man you know verse um 36 it says that the son therefore shall make you free ye shall be free indeed <laughs> you see and we've been freed through yahweh shy now when you go back All right, and you go to Isaiah 42 and 16. It says, and I will bring the blind by a way that they knew not. I will lead them in paths that they have not known. Yeah, because this was never presented to us. Our whole life, all right, this way was never presented unto us, man. All right, the law, statutes, and commandments, the, the, the standard of the scriptures, you know, actually applying these scriptures real time, you know, understanding that, the, the 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 people in the bible was us all right this is our legacy that we're reading about you know rulership all right a righteous rulership to come that way was never presented unto us man we didn't even know this way existed all right and there was what yahweh shah working with them men bringing the believers by a way that we knew not all right and it says, and I will bring the blind by a way that they knew not. I will lead them in paths that they have not known. I will make darkness light before them and crooked things straight. These things will I do unto them and not forsake them. And that's what has happened, man. You know, because we was brought up in crooked ways, man. All right. We didn't even know what being a man was. We didn't know a uh, 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 family we didn't understand you know the use of women we didn't understand none of these things man the importance of righteous rulership we didn't understand these things we was brought up in crooked ways man all right we were just content all right with being you know slaves all right with a little piece of money in america man we didn't care how the earth was being ran how the earth was being destroyed you know the wickedness in high places you know but then we came into this, all right? Those crooked ways have been made straight, all right? Men learning how to be men according to Yahweh Bashim Shai. Women learning how to be and submissive, all right, to those men, you know? Man and woman learning their role, man. The kids benefiting from it, man. Like the brother said, man, you have children. You got uh, uh, children who parents are believers who've never celebrated you know any of these pagan holidays man you know and that's the benefit of what man that that light your house shy you see because it all ends and begins all right with your house shy he's not going to forsake us man faith and no through our faith and obedience we will not be forsaken he's going to show up all right when it when it when it gets time man all right a standard gonna be lifted you know, he's going to be manipulating the situation that the elect going to be in in these times. And ultimately, he's going to show up himself, all right, and deliver us, man. You know? And what we see happening now is his men, all right, are spiritually, all right, um, opening the eyes of the blind. All right? Spiritually making the lame to walk. All right? That's what's happening in the spirit because Yahweh Shah is, with, is within his men. And... When Yahweh Shah was on earth, the Heavenly Father was within Yahweh Shah. You see? So now, you know, Yahweh Shah, well, Yahweh Shah was um, doing those miracles, all right, because his father was in him, all right? Like, um, let me get that real quick. St. John 3, all right? St. John 3 and 1, it said, there, there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews, then came... It said the same came to Yahweh Shah by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher gone from the most high. Alright, come from the most high. For for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except the most high be with him. So the heavenly father was with Yahweh Shah doing these miracles. And now Yahweh Shah, alright, is within his men. Alright, doing these miracles. And the heavenly father is still in Yahweh Shai. That's why we, when you receive Yahweh Shai, the father comes with it by default. <laughs> you see? Well, Jake don't understand that they rejecting their whole package, man. And Jake is a lot of Israelites that will be naked out here in the time of judgment, man. You know? 
So what we're doing, we're continuing the work of Yahweh Shai. And by being a light unto our people that's in the Gentile state of mind as we once were. Now this St. John 14 and 12, it says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto the Father. You see that? So Yahweh Shah is gone, but he sent his spirit back, all right, within his men to continue the work, man. You know, to continue, all right, being that light unto our people that's in the Gentile state of mind, man. And that's through teaching and also through our conduct, man. You know? So, Lord, will you was edified, you know, just reading a little bit this morning. You know, the Spirit had me to bring it out. You know, till next time I say, Shalom, Quam Yashallah, Habab, Habab, DTA, soon.